Okay, it's no secret that the home buying market is a raging dumpster fire with even high priced fixer uppers triggering insane bidding wars. But while it's challenging to buy a home, it's not impossible. Jackie Denker has tips on how to buy a house in a crazy market. It's no secret that house prices have been skyrocketing, making it difficult to get into a home. So it's very important at this stage of the game to think outside of the box, right? Find other ways that you can possibly get into that home and achieve your goal of home ownership. So to help us get our foot in the door, we spoke with mortgage broker Keisha Johnson. First up, focus your search on homes that have been sitting on the market for a while. With those type of properties, I mean, some may think, oh, what's really wrong with those properties? But if you have a real good realtor to do a bit of investigation and see, you know, what are the pros and the cons, then you might find a hidden gem. And good news for your wallet because... The sellers become more motivated to sell and uh, maybe willing to negotiate a little bit more as well. Next, she says look into purchasing the home with a friend or family member to cut costs. I think it's a great way for you to combine that income and increase that affordability. I know that this can be a bit challenging, so you want to make sure that it's someone that you can actually live with, someone that you can trust. This could also be a great opportunity for an investment. It might be a situation where you come together for this particular property, and that property over time will grow some equity in it. Depending on where the market is over time, then possibly you can go your separate ways with that equity. Moving on with look into using a private lender. So private lenders, they're a bit more flexible than the traditional banks in terms of uh, qualifying your income. They loan on the property itself, not necessarily on your income overall. And even though your mortgage may cost more by using a private lender like Lightstream or Best Egg rather than a bank, she says, look at it this way. It's really kind of toughing it out for a little bit and keeping your eyes on the prize, knowing it's getting into the market. And then after a year, you know, living that property for about a year, you can transition into a traditional lender once you get things into place. Finally, check out properties that are outside of the city. If you are willing to come out of your comfort zone, come out of the cities and go further out, then you're going to find property values that are a little bit lower in price. If the commute to work is not an issue, then it might be something that might very well work out for you. Thinking outside the box on our journey to becoming a homeowner.